Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector right here on YouTube, and welcome back to one of my car side chats. These have been a lot of fun, and it's just an opportunity to talk a little bit about stuff that's on my mind, and also stuff that's going on in the collecting community, and uh, this one's kind of timely here. This one was actually brought to my attention in the Facebook group. Again, if you're not a member there, Batman statue collector, Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, please join Join us. It's a very, very positive, supportive group. I think you would really enjoy the conversations. Now, what we are talking about today centers around Poison Ivy. And this is the brand new premium format from Sideshow Collectibles. And as you guys know, uh, this just went up for pre-order. I did pre-order it myself. Now, uh, there is a bit of controversy with this particular piece because over the last day, it now, if you go to the Sideshow website, it now says that it is available for a limited time. Now, this is also a new thing uh, for Sideshow because usually it's available forever, right? Until it sells out. Um, but it says it's now available for a limited time. It also has a Sideshow exclusive banner on the top. Um, there is no uh, exclusive bonus part or anything like that, no swap outs with this piece. It is what it is. What you see is what you get with this piece. And so the exclusive banner, or the, the little logo, is a little bit confusing to me. But it's the limited time thing that has me thinking. Now, in the old days, and this is stuff that we've talked about before here on the channel, but in the old days, everybody would pre-order everything. It was smart to pre-order, okay? But nowadays, we recommend that you don't pre-order. Um, you can if you want. Uh, obviously, if you want to guarantee that you get something, go ahead and pre-order. That's no problem. But a lot of people these days are waiting because of the economy, the worldwide situation, uh, inflation, and everything else. These companies are continuing to put sale after sale after sale on their website. Which so, again, here on this channel, we have been encouraging people to wait. Wait until you have an item in stock then see if it's going to be on sale. You have Sideshow Seconds, and if you're not familiar with that, uh, that is uh, an opportunity to buy at a discounted rate. I think it's 15% off, and it's usually a dinged box. The statue's fine, but the box is damaged somehow. It's got a little cut or a nick or cranny in it, and so Sideshow is offering a discount. So it's always worth it to check out Sideshow Seconds. Um, but also, you know, there's constantly sales, 10%, 30%, sometimes even up to 50% off of in-stock items. Now, they do not do sale items on pre-order, okay? So again, I'm going to go back to that. If it's something that you absolutely cannot live without and you want to guarantee that it's not going to sell out, that sort of thing, then by all means, please go ahead and pre-order. I pre-order all the time. But I am not as quick to pre-order as I used to. Because again, it is very frustrating if, let's say, I buy a Prime 1 item and I get it, I paid full price, and a week later it's on Sideshow Seconds or it's being offered for 20% off with free shipping where I just paid full price and paid $500 in shipping for that statue. Yeah, it's annoying, right? And that's because I pre-ordered it. So am I punished because I pre-ordered? Kind of. I guaranteed my slot, yes. Uh, but at the end of the day, a lot of collectors are waiting these days. They're not pre-ordering because they're hoping that we're going to be getting these sales. Now, the sales are a new thing because, yes, Sideshow and other companies would do these sales from time to time. But again, now because of the way the world is, <laughs> there's sales all the freaking time. So again, it is smart to go ahead and wait to uh, get your item in. Again, it does not have to necessarily be something that you order day one. So let's get back to this Poison Ivy. Okay, so the Poison Ivy here is, again, being offered for a limited time. Now we can look at it a couple of different ways. Number one, this statue is going to be shipping this year, apparently. I mean, they're saying like August of 2023, uh, which is an incredibly short turnaround time for Sideshow. So I don't know if that means that this is going to be a limited run or the fact that they're saying, okay, this is going to be a limited time purchase because it is going to be shipping this year. And maybe that's the angle they're going with. Or maybe they are trying something brand new and literally are going to close the window. And maybe that is because of inventory. Uh, maybe that is because of, you know, let's say that they make 10,000 of something, they're going to have so many in stock forever, 
and you're going to have sale after sale after sale. So maybe by doing a limited run or a limited sales option or sales time frame, maybe they are thinking, okay, well, this will this will shore up. We'll take however many, kind of like an MTO type of deal, made to order. Um, XM and some other companies have tried that where, you know, you kind of base sales. You know, however, let's say you, you sell 500. You make 500. Short time frame. Boom. You don't have a ton of extra merch sitting in your warehouse somewhere. You don't have to worry about discounting them later on. So maybe maybe they're trying to turn it around. Maybe they're saying, okay, well, we know what collectors are doing. We know the collectors are waiting till things are in stock. Maybe they're trying to turn that around and get people to pre-order again. That way they know how many they can make or how many they should make. I Again, it's, there's gray area there. We're speculating. We don't know. We don't work for these companies. But it's interesting, right? It's interesting to think of, like, why why on this one? <clears throat> Poison Ivy is a very popular character. She's going to sell. But again, if you look, uh, <clears throat> I want to give a shout-out to our, my friend Jeff Morris. He actually posted this in the uh, the Facebook group uh, from Rogue's Gallery, Rogue's Gallery Live. He said, you know, with the ES of Joker and Harley which Joker's a Daniel Bell piece. Harley is Margot Robbie. The ESs are small. I don't think people like the Margot Robbie base. And <clears throat> Joker, I, maybe it's just not everybody's favorite Joker. But it's crazy because two very popular characters with low ESs. So again, maybe Sideshow sees that. <clears throat> and they're like, you know what? We don't want a whole bunch of this extra inventory. So we don't want to make 8,000 of these Poison Ivies. We want to have it available up for pre-order for a short period of time. Maybe see what the ES is, how many they sold. Announce the ES at that point. Because they're not announcing the ES yet. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're doing. Would you be okay with that? Would you be okay with having a short window to order something? Because again, we've been saying for quite a while over the last year to wait, wait to pre-order. But now, I'm sorry, wait, don't pre-order, wait till it comes in stock is what I mean to say. <clears throat> but now is, is Sideshow trying to trying to change the game a little bit and get you to pre-order again because the window is so small and tight. I don't know. It's really quite interesting, really, you know, if you think about it. <clears throat> Could this change the game? Time will tell. We're gonna we're gonna keep our eye on it here on the channel, and we're gonna kind of wait and see exactly you know what we think might happen or what does happen. But it will be quite interesting to see over the next you know six months, twelve months. Will this be a new norm? Will this be something that we see more often from sideshow and other companies, or will we continue to see this <clears throat> you know wait and see? You know, wait until it's in stock. Will we still keep getting the deep discounts? Will we still keep getting the free shipping and all that stuff that they've been offering? Again, as of the last year, it has not really been worth it to pre-order. So, anyway, these are just my rumblings, my ramblings of things that I have been thinking about uh, over the last uh, couple days. And uh, obviously, again, this is a kind of interesting news, um, something that I have not really seen from them. Um, so anyway, it's new and I want to thank everybody that's, uh, chimed in on the Facebook group because a lot of people are having things to say about this one. So I thought it would be an interesting topic, topic to talk about. Um, and again, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. The, me rambling on <laughs> for nine minutes. Uh, again, thank you very much. Sorry about the, the giant glare. I just realized it's giant glare on the, on the screen, but anyway, <laughs> oh! Anyway, I hope you uh, have a great rest of your day, and uh, let me know in, in the comments what you guys think about this um, situation. Love to hear it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon in the Batcave. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, everybody.